All right, welcome back. So after we get out of that prison, you're gonna regain control of Selfie's group, and Selfie's group is going to go to stop the missiles. So just drive to the left, and you'll end up at this prison or this missile launching base place. And for this first guy, just walk right past him. Don't run. Don't cause any ruckus where you go off fight anybody. I'm gonna go through this while fighting eight guards. It makes it until the end where you have no choice of to fight. It makes this a whole lot easier. Now you can use these blinds on a boss fight that's coming up at the end of this level. Uh, strangely enough, which is a machine. I don't know how that works, but yeah, it works. So. Go down those stairs, go to the left, talk to those two maintenance guys, they tell you to go into this room here, and talk to, talk to this guy that's working on this rocket here. Now those full lifes that I just drew, they can be, if you have 100 of them, you're going to want to junction them to your health over Kiraga because they get 4,000 health compared to Kiraga which gives, I think, 25 hundred or something like that. So now you're pretty much just running errands, running back and forth between the guys telling them what to do. Except for this part we're gonna walk right back to the or run right back to the place where we walked by. And tell that guy to go on ahead And after that happens, you just walk inside and bash on the machine. And once you're done inside, just come out and try to talk your way out of it. Don't fight unless you want to, but I, once again, I'm trying not to fight anyone in here to make things a little bit easier and less, less hectic, I guess. But it still makes the mission a lot longer if you don't fight them. So a couple of guys are going to need help in the pushing a missile silo in here. Just play it cool, don't run away or fight them, and help them out. Don't run away because they'll make things more suspicious and they'll eventually fight you. Come up to this missile and just press X in between those two soldiers already pushing it and You'll go into a button mashing kind of sequence, and I cut that out because all you have to do is press square. Nothing hard, nothing to it. Go to go to the control panel, which is what we're going to do before helping these soldiers with the missile launching push here. Let's go to that panel to the right of the door. Access it, you don't need to enter your password, it just automatically locks you in. Um, before you do anything, head up to target. Go to set error ratio, you can't change the target unfortunately. So we're gonna have to set the error ratio up to maximum. Yeah, this goes really slow, I don't know why they made it go so slow. <laughs> Once that's set to the highest, go down to data upload to upload the error ratio. Once that data upload's done, you can exit. You can mess around with this if you want, but once again, you can't change the target of where you want the missiles to head. Like, you can't send them into the ocean or attack anybody else. Unfortunately. So, once that's done, talk to this guy standing at the bottom of these stairs here. And he's going to let you go up the stairs by telling him we have data to report. Because everyone in this base is pretty much a pushover and does everything he says and believes you. So 
So after going up those stairs, you're gonna enter this boss battle. Pretty much the same as the uh, prison boss battles. Um, same health. Well, more health, but not, not really that much stronger unless you level up a lot. Um, his draws, I think, are protect or shell. Reflect. Now, I gave all my strength to Princess because she was my weakest one. Yep, slow, which we're gonna use on the boss battle after this. And once this guy is taken care of, we're gonna have to look for more machines to press so we can get out of this place. Quistus take care of this. Ah, is gonna take care of this guy. Again, because she's my strongest. So the first thing you wanna do is press this panel on the left. And then the panel against the wall is well actually they're all gonna be wrong after that. And after that's done, you're gonna wanna head through that door. Set whatever time limit you want, I pick 10 minutes, and just leave. Now you can go through that back door which was behind the time limit panel we were just at. And you're gonna encounter this boss. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cast slow on him and blind, which I don't have on Rhino or Quistus as it, so I need to wait for her to charge up. So, you have whatever time limit you want to destroy this thing. Now you can blind him, which I still think is weird. That little puff of smoke can blind a huge machine. I don't know, this thing looks like a giant generator that's floating. It doesn't look like it has any wheels on the bottom. But its weaknesses are thunder based attacks and water because it's a machine. So don't bother with your summons unless you set up for twenty maybe like twenty minutes or something like that. Higher than ten minutes because you don't have enough time to wait for them to cast their summons and so just keep mailing in. And his generators on top will eventually explode. Now you can't cast... I don't think you can cast stop on him anyways. But see, right there. Now... Once you get down to just two generators left, that's when this boss battle will be over. So you're going to want to make sure to have your health pretty high with those Kiragas that we got from our going out. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, he does have one special attack, which is a laser kind of thing, but then only attacks one person, so if you do get attacked with that, heal that person up immediately. because it is a powerful attack and once this machine is destroyed three soldiers will run out which I cut out of this video because they're just the same as the soldiers we fought before this boss and they aren't hard there's no special draws from them so it wasn't worth uh, recording and I had to get this video under 10 minutes again so so that's it for this video, and good luck with this guy.